In search for a guiding light, I shed my old skin and rise to be all the beautiful things I can be and be them without apology. I fought so hard all my life to unroot my feet from the ground and outgrow the story that was once written for me. And yet, I yearn to find peace in the ruins of who I used to be and build a monument to the person I may never become, bowing with grace and thanking him for trying his best because his best was more than enough. In search for the guiding light, I crave new shoes that haven't stumbled, bigger clothes for all the growing I still need to do, different mirrors to see myself with different faces, no longer rushing or setting unrealistic expectations. I change, I grow, I heal, and I transform at the speed of love, not at the pace the world tells me to go. Every breath is a new breath. Every breath is a new life. Every breath is a brand new chance to make space for joy, for play, for love. In search for the guiding light, I've come to learn that I am living stardust for the heart of the universe beats within me. And as I embrace these new beginnings, I am reminded that self-love is a daily baptism and that self-compassion is an ongoing practice. Every civilization has searched for a guiding light and told the myth of the solar messiah an emissary of the sun sent to show us the cycle of death and rebirth. Osiris, Krishna, Eros, Jesus, Buddha, Quetzalcoatl, Horus, Mithra. I wish to embrace their path of awakening in harmony and learn how to blossom in the fields of enlightenment and cosmic vibrancy. So I let go of all of the things that no longer serve me and hold me back, the fear, the resentment, the guilt, and the past, may all these bridges I've burned light my way to love. Death to the old me, as I make my memory mythical, vulnerable, yet immortal, living endlessly in my history. I surrender myself to the solar messiah, to the sun and its guiding light. Thank you very much. Woo!